Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be an unboxing for a company. They contacted me a few days ago and asked me if I wanted to test out their product on my channel. And of course I asked, you know, what, what they were expecting and they just said that they wanted me to test it out to see um, what my thoughts were on it um, and to do a product review. So I'm going to go ahead and open the package. company's name is Alice or Elise uh, E-L-I-C-E and this is available on Amazon okay and then we're gonna go ahead and get into this box it is the A4 model Okay, contents are hopping out at me. So let's, I don't want to drop anything on the floor because I have my table tilted at a high, a high, I should have probably put it down a little bit lower, but that's okay. Okay, there's nothing left in the box. Okay, so it comes with a cloth to wipe it down with to keep it clean. Comes with a unsharpened pencil. It comes with the cord, the power cord. It comes with an eraser and also a pencil sharpener and two clear clips. Now, most people use these light pads for drawing, tracing, and stuff like that. So, um, it came with... Um, sheets of paper for artists who, or um, anyone who wanted to trace artworks. And it comes with a few pictures. It comes with a dolphin and a puppy. tracing and then it gives you some paper to trace with which I will probably give to my kids to do something with because you know my kids love to draw so as a diamond painter, I will not be utilizing anything for tracing because that's 
not what I would use it for. So. Inside here it has, um, thank you for your purchase. To celebrate the 50th anniversary of our company, please contact our support team to get the gift below for free. Quantities are limited. Um, and then you email their support and it's for it looks like a drawing board with a pen. Only one gift can be claimed per user. So that is something that um, when you guys purchase that you'll be able to take advantage of. I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to do that. Uh, just because I'm testing out the product. So, what is this thing? Uh, it's just letting you know that it, uh, passed, uh, quality specs. Um, and then we've got the light pad. And the light pad has measurements on it. Um, you know, if you were trying to measure stuff, that's pretty cool. Um, let's turn it this way. So that's pretty cool. Um, so it doesn't come with the power cord. Um, so you would have to use like your cell phone cord, um, hookup or, you know, whatever. Uh, let's see. One thing I want to say about the, mm, one thing I want to say about the port on the light pad is that um, it can be, I don't know if you can see it, but it can be really sensitive. So you have to make sure that you plug it in correctly. Um, you don't want to do like, a, you don't want to force it in. It's a really sensitive, like I said, a really sensitive port. Um, and honestly, I would not remove this. If I put it in, I would probably store it with it like that and in a safe place so that I could keep it plugged in on this end because I've heard so many people, you know, taking them in and out and then they bend or what have you and you don't want to bend them. Trust me. You don't want to. You don't want to lose any integrity for these cords. So if it's possible, um, I try to um, keep it plugged in and just put it away as a whole piece because um, I haven't had any light pads that have stopped working, but that's because I've heard enough enough horror stories to know that you don't want to remove the cord in and out. So on my original light pad, I do not remove the cord. So this has three settings. You press the button once for the first level, second time for the second level brightness, third time for the third. I mean, it's pretty bright, you guys. I don't think I, um, I don't think I would ever use the brightest. I think that um, the brightest levels are pretty good though. Um, so this is level one on the light pad. And I can see the symbol is pretty good. It's actually pretty darn good actually. I like it. I like it down here as opposed to up here because as the round edges part, it gets brighter. So, uh, that's level two with it on there. And that's level three. Well, you can see the spaces in that with the light pad on. <laughs> but with the light pad on level three, I'm having... A little bit of a hard time seeing some of these um, pink symbols so I would not I would probably never do it on three 
I would probably do it on two at max. Um, but it definitely helps, especially if you're working on the painting. Like I like to turn it upward too, away from the button because the button is, you can hit the button through the, the diamond painting. So I try not to do that, but I try to, so I try to stand it up like that and it helps, it helps to be able to see some of these that are in between. See like right here where it's super bright on the edges, like I have a hard time seeing those. So I would have to, um, I would have to turn down the brightness to like one up there if I was working on something that was up that high. Cause you don't need it to be like, you just need it to be a little luminate. For me, I have glaucoma, so I don't like things that are too bright. I try to, like I said, keep it pretty like safe and that's pretty safe for me. You know, all in all, I would say I would, uh, I would give this a five. I don't see anything wrong with it. I don't see that it's too dim or, you know, I, I think it's fine. It's like the same thing as my, as the light pad that I bought, um, from Joanne's and, um, I mean, all in all, I would say it's a five out of five, um, especially if you um, draw because you get the little bonus tracing paper and stuff. Um, I would definitely use it. Um, I don't know that I would want to use it for this painting. The woven material that Dreamer Design uses. Okay. The woven material that Dreamer Design uses I feel like it makes it really blurry. Um, I mean, I could honestly, I could probably read these symbols in the dark. They're so clear and crisp um, for me from DAC. Uh, but um, yeah, I don't, I don't see like I could probably even that on like the dimmest if I needed to because I wouldn't really need it for their their symbols versus dreamer design symbols are like night and day like you can read these I can read these just fine without a light pad um, they're not they are not blurry in any way, so it, I mean, it, to me, you, I wouldn't even need a light pad for these, honestly, so, because they're really, really muted. I think that's, I think that's part of the problem, like, it's, it's really muted, and even, like, with the light pad, some of these actually might look a little less clear versus them being crisp and clear without the light pad on so to me it doesn't make any sense to me to use the light pad for these like I said I don't see anything wrong with it it compares just the same as the light pad I purchased Okay, so I decided I was going to uh, do a side-by-side -side comparison for the Diamond Dots uh, because that's the one I purchased on my own. This is the one I got um, to try. So I just wanted to do a comparison. Um, I'm going to hit just one time. And for me, it looks the same. Same exact brighter, but to me, sitting here with my eyes, they look the same. 
So I'm just going to do a comparison just for that sake. This is level two. And you can't compare it to this line right here because these, this line is the part that doesn't have the dots around it. Ooh, that's so bright. I can't even look at it, you guys. It's so bright. So I just wanted to compare. They look the same exact to me. So. So that is my comparison for the two because this one in the store is $24.99 and this one in, at Amazon is $19.99 uh, but it has a 5% coupon. Um, that is my comparison of the two light pads uh, which I see no different. Different. And personally, the third level brightness for my eyes, it hurts you guys. I'm just like, nah, it's too bright. Um, I think that this is that the level one, if you don't need much light, like if you have an overhead light, then it's, you know, I think it's perfectly adequate for level one. But if you, you know, have like blurry symbols, symbol, symbols, symbols, then, um, you could try different levels to see what works good for that. Um, like I said earlier, like, like I said, um, the pinks, they get really, this pink with the white is getting lost in the light. Um, so it's a little too, too bright for that. So I think like it's definitely way too bright for the, the for the lightest level, and just I I also worry about eye fatigue because I have glaucoma, so I don't want to strain my eyes. So I will probably keep this on a level one or a level two. So it just depends upon your guys' eyes. The illuminated area of this product is. 12.13 by 9.25 inch uh, just so I can compare it for my comparison um, the one I bought from Joann's from Diamond Dogs is 12.9 by 9.25 so it's actually a little bit smaller of a illuminated surface um, than this one and I mean, it's really thin and lightweight, so um, so it's not very heavy at all. And honestly, with a slanted table, you might want to Velcro it on. You could just get some command strips or something and put it on the back and Velcro it on, just to make sure it doesn't fall. Because you do not want to drop these things; they will short out and break. Bye guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more diamond painting content.